back up to speed. There's a crash right there. We just passed it. That's had me held up for a while. Uh, down here in Chattanooga, Tennessee right now. Loaded up in uh, Cincinnati this morning. The quarter uh, mile. Keep left to continue on I-75 South. Follow signs for Atlanta. Headed down to uh, Fort Myers, Florida. Show up down there tomorrow. And, Keep uh, left to continue on I-75 South. Get rid of this load. Uh, it's a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. I've got some whalers. Some, uh, well, there's a generator, skid mount generator, a steel box with about a thousand pounds, fifteen hundred pounds in it, maybe, and uh, some plastic water line with some submersible pumps. I've got a what else we got? We got a two inch trash pump and a uh, pressure washer miscellaneous stuff we're we're right at uh, max on on weight so we're gonna get this down here get this unloaded and uh definitely gonna take a little r and r while i'm down here for sure can't come to fort myers without going to dr ford's so we're gonna do that and might uh might stay down here a couple nights see what happens possible load coming back for one of my buddies which would be kind of cool because it, uh, it'll get dropped like, I don't know, 10 miles from the house. We'll see. See if he makes the deal. He's down here now over in Daytona, I guess. Uh, have to see what he decides. But anyway, that's a big possibility that may come back. Don't know yet. Just have to see. But I'm going to focus on driving right now. So... I'll get back with you when the uh, traffic gets a little lighter. Well, I am in Atlanta. Dealing with traffic, of course. I don't know what else to say about that. Other than it's a lot. But anyway, got through Chattanooga, all right, wasn't too bad, one crash, several others just about happened in front of me, asshole, several others just about happened in front of me, I ought to just, you know what, I'm going to spin your talk, maybe you can just see what these people do, so, common courtesy is uh, few and far between on anybody anymore. Uh, you know, everybody's in a damn hurry. So you get cut off all the time. I mean, this car in front of me just about took the side of my truck out. He was that close. He had plenty of room. But uh, it's, it's every day I have to deal with this out here on the road, and I'm not the only one. Every trucker can vouch for this. Over the years, it's gotten significantly worse on having to deal with the traffic. And it's mainly because no one has any patience. Everybody's in a big old hurry. And technology is a large one, a large culprit in all this. Um, you know, texting. I would say nine out of 10 cars that are passing me have their phone in their hand, texting, driving, and it's not just cars, it's semi trucks too. And I think it's awful. It, it causes a major issue out here on the road. A big major issue out here. It's unsafe. I've been doing this for a long time. I'm ready to get out of it because of it. Just because of everybody else. If I was in the accident, being that I'm in a commercial vehicle, I'm automatically guilty until proven innocent because of somebody else's negligence. And I would, I, I could fight that against somebody just because I've been through it twice. Three times, actually. 
I've been through it three times already in a commercial vehicle since I've owned my business. Of someone crashing into me, hitting me. Two of, of the three actually denied fault. One accepted fault right away. The other two were proven guilty after I proven my innocence. It was they they were gonna make me a fault through the courts. One of them was uh, let's see. One of them, the only thing that saved my my tail was uh, a motorcycle cop actually saw it happen, and he was going to leave, but I told him we needed a statement from him, and I'm glad I did because that's the only way that I saved, you know, that I covered my tail on that one. The third one had dash cam, but it wasn't working. And I really had to fight, fight long and hard on it to get it taken care of. Well, I've got a really good dash cam now. You know, it's still technology. It can fail at any minute. Whatever. But, uh, anywho. We're in Atlanta. Looks like uh, we're going to be speeding up here for a little bit. How long, I don't know. But, let's get down to Florida see where we end up tonight all right I'll show you the load made it all the way to Live Oak Florida stayed here at the rest area just did my pre-trip everything looks good so there's pipe braces all the plastic water line I got a spare pump back here as well Sixteen-foot whalers here on the bottom. A ladder, generator. Walk around the other side here. Yep, generator, steel box with a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. All kinds of stuff in the box. Power washer and a two-inch pump and. I got a stinking light out right here. I just replaced that one and the opposite one on the other side before I left. The other thing I had to do before I leave or before I left is uh, hook the trailer up there at the house, moved it out of the way so I could uh, get some other stuff going on and. Uh, while I was sitting on the truck, where I moved it to, all my lights went out on this side. This light, this light, uh, the back light, and my license plate light went out. And, uh, you know, figured it would just be a connection back here, but it wasn't. Um, the wire that uh, was installed factory from here all the way down inside this channel or this tubing, it's not channel. This is tubing, PJ. So, the light wire that was in there was, it's not the right size, it's too small. And it's just broke down over the years. And I actually had to, I had to pull all new wire through this side. So that's something that's gonna have to be done on the rest of the trailer. Uh, Cause I'm gonna have uh, issues already giving me issues here so might as well do the rest of it soon but anyway I know this stack of uh, pipe braces don't look all that great uh, but man these haven't moved at all I mean they're they're locked in there pretty daggone good it doesn't look very well because they're not perfectly round and because they have these uh, handles on them so they're interlocked in there real well they haven't moved none nothing of this has moved so anyway just got the uh, pre-trip done we're going to jump on the road here got about another uh say four and a half hours roughly get that dropped and uh see what we can get into yeah i slept like a baby in the truck last night couldn't believe i slept so well 
back seat, you know. Sounded like uh, rain hitting the old tin roof last night because it was raining. <coughs> Put me right to sleep. Slept so good. I didn't even hear the trucks firing up next to me this morning and leaving. Pretty, pretty crazy. I, I just can't believe I slept out well in the backseat of my truck. I slept good. Still driving. Still trying to get down here to Fort Myers. Ain't got too much longer. Might stop and grab some fuel. sitting here at the uh, staging area right now waiting on the guy to come up and uh, for me to follow him back so we can get this unloaded. Not sure what I'm going to be able to film but I'll film what I can so you can see where we're at and uh, we'll go from there. So as soon as he comes and gets me we'll head back. Which means, which means I, I've got a backhaul out of here. Got uh, a few things that are broke that needs to go back up and get fixed here at the job site. So um, they're shutting down because of the weather and stuff. They're getting out of here, weather all the way around. So we're going to be back here in a couple days. And hopefully they got more stuff broke and uh, we'll be good to go. Figured I'd try out Harpoon Harry's since I'm here in Punta Gorda after a long day. Had a lot of rain come in this morning and uh, flooded out the uh, place that I'm staying in. So, been moving stuff around, getting things cleaned up, carpet cleaned up, all that stuff. So, definitely well deserved uh, dinner out here on the water. You've got uh, Old Glory flying right in front of us. It's awesome. All right. Well, we just got loaded uh, back down here in Florida, Fort Myers area. Heading out of the job site now. I'll tell you what I ended up with. It's not a whole lot. You can see part of it back there. So up front on the trailer, I have two smaller generators side by side. Uh, that aren't working. 
We're gonna take those back and in that big box right there, that is a uh, forklift dumpster. So I guess it ripped off the frame or whatever. So we're taking that and the frame back as well. It's pretty bumpy if you can't tell getting out of here. So I'll spin you around and show you my view. We'll get out of here and get back on the road here soon. like 10,000 acres and you know there's several different crews in here working several different companies doing work in here the company that I hold down for um, actually has three job sites on this one spot okay we've only went to one that was the closest one um, the other three of course are farther away and it took quite a bit of time to get in here uh, to those to those spots or to the first one so I can just imagine the others. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna get checked out of the gate here and get back on the road. Bye bye, Florida. Hello, Georgia. Yay. All right, I made it to Valdosta. Um, fueling up, of course. Just came through a bunch of rain. <clears throat> it finally let up. Not sure if I showed you this load or not, but we have two generators and this is a uh, forklift dumpster um, that's supposed to be mounted to this frame. It was ripped off. We're going to get that back up to the yard. That way the mechanics can take care of it and get it welded back together or whatever. And, uh, plus these generators, that way they'll be ready to go back out on the job site. Feeling up now, like I said, I'm in Valdosta. I actually know somebody here in Valdosta. You guys might know him too. We might just be able to find him. Have to check. But I am at his favorite restaurant. Huh. Well, making Georgia. We made it to Bucky's. Um, diesel fuel here is actually pretty cheap. It's uh, 2.93 a gallon. Go inside and see what it's all about here. Well, I tell you what. I walked in there. I was going to film, but there's so many people here. Um, they're, they're, you know, I'm not going to do that. Piss people off, whatever. But uh, anyway, I was a little disappointed in there. They have everything except for a damn stuffed beaver. I mean, they've even got beaver nuggets, but they don't have a stuffed beaver. I really wanted a stuffed beaver. So anyway, we're going to jump back on the road, get down the road, get this load delivered, and grab something else. All right, so this is what we have. This is our next load. Two crane mats, 20 foot long. It's about 9,000 pounds for the two. The stuff that uh, we just brought back from Florida. <coughs> Get over here so you can see it. Is this dumpster here, which is supposed to look like that dumpster, but instead the frame got ripped off of it down there so there's no sense of having it down there it's pretty much destroyed brought it back see if they can fix it whatever there's the frame and then these two generators here uh, not performing the way they're supposed to perform so they'll get those fixed and they'll go out to another job so anyway that's what we have is two crane mats get back to the house and we'll deliver those probably on the next video all right, now that I'm back home, I figured I'd take you guys a little ride over here by the garden. So the beans are about done. The, the wife really done uh, pretty good while I was gone uh, between working and everything on her schedule. 
uh, coming over and being able to take care of the garden and getting things out. There's the sunflowers. She planted more sunflowers here, directly in front of us. Take you out here, we'll check out the corn. Uh, the silver queen's actually coming up pretty good. First batch of silver queen she picked while I was gone, put up for sale. I guess it was really delicious. I didn't get any of it. And that was this batch right here. The second batch isn't quite done. It's right there. But uh, got a lot of corn out of there, actually. Go back here. So this over here is field corn. This over here is sweet corn. Everything up front here was uh, Silver Queen. And we have two batches back here. Uh, the first batch, which ends right here over this way to the path, that's uh, by collar. And then everything from here over is called Obsession. The Obsession corn's not ready. I guess the by collar wasn't as good uh, as the Silver Queen. So we may not, uh, that's two years in a row that we've had by collar, and you know, it's just kind of been iffy. We probably won't do bi collar next year. Get down here to the end. I want to show you guys something else. So, if you guys remember, I planted like 45 or 50 rows of sunflowers. Got a couple of them blooming out there. But there it is. That planter done pretty daggone good. Uh, those sunflowers are approximately... Five foot tall, four and a half to five foot tall, all the way down through there. Let's see, I see one or two that's bloomed out. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, there's one there. You barely see it. Right there, about mid screen. And then there's another one right there. But yeah, it won't be very long. Here in a couple uh, few days, this, this whole patch will be all sunflowered, bloomed out. Looks like everything's blooming out nicely. Let's get you zoomed back in. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, there we go. Here's one that's bloomed out now. I just saw it. And this is just bird seed. There it is. Yeah, this is just sunflower bird seed. You know, I think them bags were like, I don't know, four or five bucks a bag. I can't remember, but uh, there's plenty, plenty of seed to plant just to make something look purdy, I guess, for the, for the fall. But, uh, yeah, so this is the garden. It's producing, producing real well. The woman's, uh, or the wife is somewhere in the corn maze now, uh, spraying all the silk. So she'll get that taken care of, do her womanly duties. And... Uh, until next time, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.